Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we have a new, new, new one! That's right. It's for the Jaguar. It is Doom Slayer Edition. That's right. So it's a metal fucking game. Oh, day, yeah. Man. This is, we're getting into the Doom. So I had to play some, some metal music. Well, it is a Doom soundtrack, Doom That's Eternal right. soundtrack before the show. So let's put up the Jaguar insignia logo there. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Um, very honored to be able to present doom slayer edition for the jaguar it is a massive upgrade from the original release of doom for the jaguar and it is from welsh warrior uh sporadic cyrano j saturn and neo rg and they are in the chat today the developers so you can see their names there and they um they may or may not need to put dev beside their name but i've said if they want to talk and you know that they're devs, you can put a little devs in bracket. But see, there's there's some people in there. There's Sporadic in EORG. Right. They're putting their names up. Apparently Hello! The, apparently the cat cam is off. I don't think this will play into anything too oh, soon, but I, I wanted to report. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's get that cat cam going. I'm just uh, <laughs> reporting what is being said by chat. This is not original. Yeah. These are not original observations. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked to, to play some Doom, man. It's we right before yeah. um, we went online. Uh, James was like, "Have you played Doom?" I was like, "Oh yeah, I played some Doom." <laughs> and I was like, "Yes, <laughs> that's good." I mean, it's good both ways, and and I like that uh, that thing that you bring with not knowing certain genres or not playing these old games. But it's also good if you do know these games and in depth as well, or know these genres intimately. Yeah, because I definitely feel like I probably play have played way more FPSs than you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Like, I've, I've played I've played them back in the day. Like I played Doom, I played Wolfenstein 3D, I played Quake, and then I stopped for a long time. Yeah. And now I play them again on modern systems. So there's a big gap in between where I didn't really concentrate on those. Yeah, because I was like, Halo was the shit when I was in high school, <laughs> yeah. right? That ha that Halo COD sort of, like, right. battle and that whole kind of... That was my generation. Because you grew up in the 3D era. That's right. Like, um, N64 was my first console, and then I transitioned quickly to PS2, Xbox One. Right. Not Xbox One, Xbox Original, like yeah. Xbox, Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> yeah. And then Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and yes. then and then I kind of was just kind of a PC gamer. I didn't go deeper in, yeah. um, but I've like I've played consoles at other people's houses, but that's kind of like my thing, so I, there's just so many FPSs in that, in oh, that whole I era. Bet. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling beside Erlen, a cardboard box, Alan the Fur, Andre Atari, Armscar Coder, Atari 800, XL Worlds, Darnian 74, Atari Age Beef, Supreme Beer, Poke Up, Taos, Don Mount, Charles Wheel and Chit, Lula, Colonel Lamage, Cyrano, Reboot, Dianoid, Dan, Daryl, 1970, Kios, Kilos, Dr. Moo, Kaz, Gamma Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Jurapper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G, Croco 2600, Gavaltifer, Lambda Express, Learned DZ, Lord Crack, and Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Letal, Miss Command, Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Neo Meany, Net Spencer, Nostalgia, 26 Quagar, 70 Render Ghosts, Reventulio, Cardo Pimps, Rodcaster, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spice Force, Spindly, S. Ramirez, Tested and Rocking, D Train, Tiki Dan, K T Fos, Trekim, D Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, VVD Double Down, X Ken X. Time that one. I didn't stumble once. That's, That's probably the one. fastest a one. Solid, solid one. And if you want to support the show and get your name on there and uh, keep these cats fed with the um, uh, hear a syllable in. of your statement in the. That's <laughs> right. Just a continuous <laughs> stream of letters. Thank you, Chad Ti Nine 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 Beef Man, for following. A lot of people followed today. They wanted to know when this was streaming. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in to this uh, momentous occasion. I know people have been waiting for this game for years since it was kind of first developing and announced. And we're going to go over kind of the uh, quickly the timeline of this game and the timeline of Doom and id Software and what led up to Doom. It's and, treat and of course, time. The differences yum, between yum, 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 yum. Uh, the Jaguar original and this one as well, so people can know. But first, it's time. It's cat cat's time. It's cat feeding time. Who's going to win? So all the new people <laughs> are probably confused of why there's bells and cats and all that. Uh, we, uh, we love our cats. And now it's time for them to play a game before we play a game. 
So uh, let's, and we bet on them. Channel points, they mean nothing. They're equivalent to nothing, but you earn them by being here. But you can bet on the cats. So let's start the betting right now. Uh, you will see um, a little thing you can click at the top of your chat. And we've got two cats. This is Sprite right here, the black cat. And that's Atari, the gray cat. Oh. And they're gonna ring bells for treats. And I'll tell you one thing out of experience, I've not seen Atari win once. <laughs> in all the time that I've been he's, here. He's about one out of five times. So, so take that into account yes. when you're thinking about your betting. Now this could be the day that Atari wins. Yeah. You never know. This could totally be the day. But I just also want you to know that he has not won once so, <laughs> since I've done this. So he's the long, <laughs> Atari's the long shot, but you could win big with Atari if he does it, if he makes it. Sprite's the sure bet, but you win low because everybody but he bite, bets on Sprite. Kind of so, makes sense. Sprites are in everything, dude. That's, that's the way, right. way it is, right? Atari Sprites is. are in everything. Sometimes you got to go 3D and go go with Atari. Oh, that's right. Are you a Jaguar today, Atari? Or are you going to give it up to Sprite once again? You just got to eat faster. Your bell ringing's good, but it's your consumption of the treats that's a little slow. That's right. right. 38 seconds. I think I did 45 seconds reading up the oh, name before. So you, so that you was, shaved off a few seconds. That was a world record. Going for the speed run. Definitely, definitely. PB, <laughs> no, no doubt about that. Okay, I think we are. It's all done. Nope, submission's still open. Getting close. I'm curious how the spread is and oh. what kind of, like, what are, like. Yeah, we've got 30, about 30 seconds left. What do we have? Four on Atari and three on Sprite. People really <sighs> believe in Atari. I believe in Atari as well. I mean, that's why we're here. Like, exactly. Just, you know, come on, like the whole way. the whole thing's about Atari. If we didn't right? believe in Atari, like, this show wouldn't exist. Why would we do so this? Just... <laughs> exactly. Uh, and um, we've got a poll question. Might as well do that while we are waiting for the countdown to finish off. And the poll question is: When did you first play Doom? And the options are. 1993 on a PC or after. So let's just say PC you played it on. Or on Jaguar when it was released in 1994 or after. 1995 on SNES or another console because those are the, the, the big ones and Jaguar. Um, or I've played a Doom sequel but not Doom um, because those are like there's lots of modern I mean, I've, ones. I've played Doom but um but I ones. definitely didn't play it on PC in 1993. No. <laughs> I was How two old years old. Yeah, so you're just was, a little too. I young. was figuring some shit out. I was figuring <laughs> out how to walk, so I wasn't quite. <laughs> so and number six, uh, never played Doom. So you just type in your number. Everybody's PC. Makes on sense. PC as well. Was it? Well, I mean, uh, early FPSs were like really PC was the way. Yes. Like mouse and keyboard kind of Cause deal. You, yeah, because you think back then, what was out? What kind of consoles were out? And they be it would be pushing the limit as we'll see in the videos of the different consoles trying to manage their way around doom yeah <laughs> and and also just in terms of like um just the mechanics of joysticks right like i don't think that, that fps has well. got yeah. good until like kind of xbox playstation 2 kind of era because you need those right. dual very kind of tuned joysticks because otherwise like mouse and keyboard it just obliterates everything because and even to this day right people who do fps is like there's no there's no comparison like a good pc gamer versus the mouse a good and keyboard yeah wasd precision yep. right <laughs> you can just do something better okay. Okay, cats, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready to rumble? Yes, you are. Okay, they are ready, and it's off. And Atari's off to a okay, quick okay, start. okay. It's one zero, and Sprite gets. It's a it double as well. tap as well. It doesn't count, but doesn't it's count. It's one at a time, one at a time. Oh, Sprite's finished, but he's hey, confused. Buddy. Atari's going for the bell. Sprite gets Sprite? it. Sprite? Oh, oh, no. Stolen. That's not stolen good. Stolen Valor. Because Atari's still eating. That's a deck. Uh, yeah, there we go. Another one for Sprite. So he's stealing the trees. Doesn't win you the game. They don't care. <laughs> they well, just want just, the trees. In a way, he wins there at, we his, go. at his true objective. That, that's true. They have ulterior objectives. So Atari got another one. Sprite's a little confused. I don't know though. how much they can conceptualize the uh, it's four. redeemable points on right. <laughs> Twitch. Oh, ring the bell. <laughs> oh, double ring. Double, double hit. 5-3 for Sprite. Sprite's still ahead. Like I said, Sprite eats these treats fast. Yeah. He gets distracted, though, and that's his downfall. So if, if Atari can kind of distract him... Oh, no. There we go. Oh, not hard enough, Atari. Get it. 
You're not hitting it hard enough. You're clawing. You gotta you're make more of a pulling on. technique. Yep. There we go. Soft. Oh, was that? Oh, there sprite going for sure. Wasn't sure on that. Seven four. Seven four for sprite. Oh my god. I didn't even see him eat that one. Eight four for sprite. Atari. A disappointment. Oh, very strong ring. Solid ring. We'll get ring. you double points though. Now we're gonna go to game point for sprite. Nine to five. It's no chance of catching up. <laughs> And, oh, he gets one more, one Unless, more point in. And there we go. Ten six. Final score. Cool. Do the, yeah, put the, this dole back. out the last of the. There's a couple for you. Congratulations to both cats for putting some scores on the board. I feel like Sprite's just been raised in it. You know what I mean? He's got those oh, like yeah. day one instincts versus Atari. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's take. See, that's why I closed the door. I just opened the door again. Sprite takes his treats away. From from Sprite, because he knows Sprite's a thief. Yeah. It's bad. So let's dole out the points here for the cats. There we go. Choose the outcome. It was Sprite with a decisive win. 16,000 points get divided between Mike Littow and five others. Congratulations. Yeah, dude. Don't lose hope, Don't lose hope. But once again, not won once since I've been here. <laughs> so that is an important stat to consider. Thank you for following. It's much more. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 93.3% on PC. Yeah. I mean, and that is it, it, it is a PC game. Like, six, it's one of the first. Oh, yeah. It's a huge release. And 6%. I've never played Doom. And I think that person was lying. W Warrior. I think you're lying. <laughs> First time here. Hey, it's much more. The only reason why James thinks you're lying is because you said honestly. And when <laughs> honestly. people when people give to the signs of lying apparently are are when people insist they're not lying. Yeah. That's that's a sign. Well, and what's what's the Shakespeare quote? Uh, dots protest too much. Uh, yes. She dots protest too much. And Something. and then the other sign is too many details. When someone's giving like way yes. too many details. <laughs> they're trying. Yeah, yeah, you're like, well, if you just did this thing like you wouldn't be telling me about like I was on the street unless and there you're was a storyteller this... and yeah. then that's might be to your de detriment but apparently those are the two signs okay uh so this was first kind of this was first posted September 4th 2019 as a as something that people were working on as a project but it dates back a little bit further than that um, so let's just take a look at what kind of started this all, this project, uh, Doom Slayer for the Jaguar. So let's take a look at the Atari Age forums here. So it started with this post, enabling music and sound effects mixing within Jaguar Doom Source. And dude, those, Doom is not Doom without the music and the sounds. And, That's just the truth. And that was one of the biggest complaints of Atari Jaguar Doom. It did not have in-game music. And everyone went, why? Well, so much of that tone of that game is that metal soundtrack. And yes. it's it's a fucking masterpiece. Like, yes. I'm not a huge fan of that genre of music. I, I from, like it, but I don't really listen to it. But, yeah. but for me, it hits me, and yeah. the fact that like you, they can you Perfect can make pairing. a metal like soundtrack that actually transcends that genre into people yes. who aren't necessarily a fan of that genre exactly. is is like that's the top, that's the cream. Yeah, uh, found this on Atari Jaguar fans Facebook. Some of you might find this interesting. I found I figured out how to mix music and sound in Jaguar Doom. The results, are, however, are quite terrible. The music sounds quite scratchy and choppy, but everything else runs fine. It's a step in the right direction, though. Exactly. And then uh, a little, I think, in, um, let me get my notes back up. In March 15th, 2019, uh, Cyrano J posted uh, right there. I'm just going to leave this here for now. Get to level two, fire, fire twice, press three, da, 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 and you can hear the rest. He posted a video of music and sound in Doom. Got a little quiet here. There we go. So that was the first time that 
Doom for Jaguar had sound in it. And that began the journey of this, uh, uh, this game we're going to be playing today, uh, Doom Slayer Edition. Um, let's see. So let's go back in time a little bit to look at where Doom came from, because it uh, came from id Software, or ID Software, I'm not sure. Never uh, really heard it out loud. instinctive. Yes. Their, you know, pure, purely running on instinct, id Software. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so it started really with Hover Tank 3D in April of 1991. So I'll show you this. Let me switch over to uh, YouTube view of it. I'm just going to keep it on mute. For some reason, everybody wants to post widescreen shots <laughs> of all their videos, even though everything was four by three. So, so there'll be a theme here of stretched horizontal video. That's so interesting. Hey? So annoying. People can't so stand So rudimentary the early stuff here. Hey, yeah. uh, FPS just took a while to get to, to get, like to, to get and doom was like I think that that was tipping point feels like doom and quake were kind of the two first oh, quake just catapult and then out. unreal tournament as well i feel like those are the sort of like those are the big like early ones yeah uh the player must drive a hover tank through the levels and try to find the people brick is supposed to rescue so very uh very simplistic 3d looking maze type thing this is reminiscent of that like windows 95 like <laughs> you know what saver. i mean like it totally is in that. it predates that <laughs> uh and then the next one is catacomb 3d this is november 1991 um also developed by id software uh the player must take control of the high wizard petten everhale descending into the catacombs of the town cemetery town with an e to defeat the evil lich Nemesis and rescue his friend Grell Minar. So, uh, and I think this is one of the first um, FPSs that had an inventory system as well. I think I read that in the Wikipedia article. So a little bit more advanced. Got some nice walls going on there. It's crazy with these early ones. Hey, it's so easy to get lost because all the sort oh, of walls are the same. Like exactly. the distinguishing features that did Wolfenstein. And of course, this was the big one. This was it. This yeah. is this is the one that um, made me pay attention. Like everybody, because this was distributed through their shareware. You could distribute like the first level, first couple of levels on disc. It was passed around, so really smart Genre way. defining. And genre defining. And of course it was, you're fighting Nazis. It's so really, it had a little know. edge to it, right? In this case, you're murdering uh, canines. Murdering dogs. They're bad dogs. <laughs> Not good dogs, bad dogs. Bad Nazi dogs? Bad Nazi dogs. <laughs> like, well, I don't know if this would work so well in 2020. Oh, yeah, they they oh, 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 again. But I mean, so, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if the if you're Killing shooting dogs. like I don't know if there's a level of just murdering canines <laughs> yeah. in the new version. Yeah, not not so super cool. I, I have it, but I haven't played it. Yeah, beautiful no. sound. The graphics are so fast on even the most basic PCs, and I think that's what blew me away. When I first loaded this up, it was like so fast, so clean, um, and so much fun to play. It's such a good job with these little like, um, sound effects and music. Oh, yeah. and, like... and I loved all of um, ID Software and Apogee games as well. The, even the side-scrolling 2D games, like Commander Keen. Um, so uh, they had a, a string of amazing games. And then, of course, uh, and that was in May 1992, and then December 1993, uh, the masterpiece. Get yeah, out. Just even just this, these sounds, and it's just, <laughs> just so bring it right <laughs> back, right? But also, they're just so amazing for the genre, right? Here's the music. Yeah, never forget that music ever in your life. But also, you just feel like you're you're on like. It's tense, right? Like, the player assumes the role of a space marine. Later... Oh, that's very loud. Uh, later unofficially referred to as Doom Guy. <laughs> Not the greatest name. Fighting through the hordes of undead humans and invading demons. And, yeah, the graphics were great. The, the sounds of the weapons were great. It just... 
was a masterpiece right out of the gate. Absolutely and, unbelievable. And some just some staples of the genre, right? Like having this armor and health mechanic, oh, having collecting yeah. items. And the face degrading as you lost health. There was just so These many little things details. they did just absolutely right. Um, so that brings us to Ports on of Doom. That's the PC version. Ports of Doom on other systems because it was such a big hit. Yeah. They wanted to make more money, and more people wanted it. Not everybody had PC yeah. back then. A lot of people just had consoles. So, of course, you know, people are going to want it on their consoles, and I apologize for the 4x3 yet again That's okay. <laughs> of what's going on here. Um, but uh, So we're going to take a quick look at these platforms, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, 3DX, Jaguar, uh, PlayStation. Uh, we'll probably skip over the MS-DOS because we just saw it and Android as well. And we'll go through what years uh, these uh, came out in. There go. <laughs> There's all the different guns and hands. This is the Game Boy Advance. Pretty low res. Yeah, we're rocking a little... Uh, Thank you for following Retro 140 Gamer 140i. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 140 i <laughs> There's a Super Nintendo. Uh, a Super Nintendo came out in 1995, uh, as well as the PlayStation. Um, Sega 32X and the Jaguar were the first ones out of the gate. Officially, uh, the Sega 32X that you can see here. Those were in 1994. 96, uh, 3DO came out with theirs. Uh, 97, here's the Atari Jaguar stretched all the hell. <laughs> Horizontally, making the pixels look a little wide. Yeah. That's okay. We can, we can imagine it's squished in. Um... Doesn't fill my TV. Yeah, what what is all the space? <laughs> uh, Sega Saturn in '97, '98, Acorn Risk PC, 2001, Game Boy Advance. Here's the PlayStation '95, uh, 2006, Xbox 360, 2009, iOS, 2019, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Android. Yeah, there you go. It's um, I believe it's also one of the one of the most speed run games as well. There's tons Hundred, and the long and I was reading it was it's the longest speed run from like the first speed run to the last. And I've got some it's, info on that a little bit later, it, which which is why it's the longest speed run uh, game. And yeah, not surprisingly, these of course are, they're gonna port it to the, modern stuff. These are the course. yeah like you can also just feel the 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 work that's gone into update all of the like yeah graphics and whatnot. Oh, so, there you go. And then it goes into more things. Um, so then we get into some homebrew, which is kind of what we're playing today. These are game uh, versions that have either been made from scratch and ported to other uh, systems or manipulated from like the PC source material. Um, some of them are interesting, more interesting than others. Um, so the first one we're going to take a look at is one that maybe people don't think of as a port because they kind of fudge it. Uh, this is on the C64, and, and I'll tell you why. It's because the back end is using a Raspberry Pi. Is this the is this like a real reflection of what it looks like, or is this something... this is actually what it looks like? I think this is right off of a, this feels a TV like we've screen. entered into like the Matrix or something. <laughs> Do you know right. what I mean? And we're like peer code, yeah. just like we're, we've neoed this motherfucker, and we're just like we're just glimpsing at the code. <laughs> so ba basically, it's running on the Raspberry Pi and using the C sixty four as video output. Yeah, not really a port, and it's a sort of yeah. It's kind of just early video art. It. <laughs> yeah, it is video art. Um, and it was the same thing was done with an NES as well. So eh, can't really count that. But some people do. Um, they justified it just like, oh, ju it's just like putting the graphics chip inside an NES cart. It's like kind of. But, you know, you're completely running it off the Raspberry Pi from start yeah. to finish. And I do feel like there's a there is a sort of limitation with some of these controllers. It's just a less optimal oh. for FPSs. It's just the reality. Yeah, you'd have to use a, an advanced controller on the C64. <laughs> it has one button. So you're probably using the keyboard at that point. And they do have a mouse, like yeah. the, the C64. So I'm not sure what the input is on that. But this was just posted yesterday. 
This is an actual port of Doom on the ZX Spectrum, a very limited system. Um, so you can see they redid it from scratch. You yeah. Know, they had very limited colors on the ZX Spectrum. It's a some of these ports are like you kind of have to know the game it's, to be able to play it. It's cool, but also I just can skip my 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 initial response is wow is would this be tricky to play? <laughs> yes. Very challenging. It's like he's shooting a wall right now because he's confused. And man, it took him a while <laughs> to figure go. out first person sort of like three D um, approaches to games. Even though this is, I think this is technically still maybe two D. Two point five is how they termed it because yeah. there's stairs, but it's still flat. That's like right. There's the illusion of a Z axis. Um, but it's not a Z-axis. There is no levels over levels. Those came a little bit later. Yeah. Those are still 2.5. And mostly because the sprites on Doom are... They're not 3D rendered. They're like... You can see the front of them, the side, That's right. and the back. And they're like static sprites. So it's the illusion of 3D, which was good enough for us back then because you're not doing 3D. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's the ZX Spectrum uh, version. Should which is brand new it. it's like that was posted yesterday uh Spe spectrum doom is quite old um this is slightly enhanced so it's an updated one and that was running on the zx uh 128 so one of the one with more uh, memory uh then there's some uh ipod nano doom <laughs> some a little bit more uh esoteric ones uh this one's ipod nano doom uh good luck playing this one with this kind of screen uh, it is. I don't, I don't even know if there's gray shades of gray Let's on this. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, there is gray. It is. It's grayscale. Um, Honestly, better than I thought. <laughs> oh, it, it just smooshy. Ooh, ooh, just actually smeary, now. Smeary, smeary. Also, what's hard is it's, it's better and worse than I thought, right? Yeah. What's hard to know is because of the the camera and the way the camera yes. is recording the screen. I'm seeing like some stuff that I feel like is actually just a problem, an issue with the camera recording the screen well, rather is, than the. Yeah, it is blurry, uh, and it, it looks interlaced as well. Yeah. It's updating every second line. I can see the it getting really liney there, but and it, better than I thought running on a music player. Oh yeah. That's that's uh, fairly impressive. Definitely hard to watch in this video while this uh, is yeah. shaking. Maybe you should have put it on a table. Uh, the <laughs> next one is very interesting. This is Text Doom. This is all made of text characters like this a is, through z question marks this is definitely neo glimpsing the oh. pure code of the matrix right here this is yeah all you see are ones and twos <laughs> yeah observing the binary of this is the a very the high resolution version of text doom and, and later on they i think they scale it down to there we go <laughs> good luck playing that version like, you really have to know Doom. This sort of borderline doesn't even... Like, this might not even really be Doom at this point. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, Is it still Doom? Yeah. But the thing is, is as soon as that soundtrack plays, it's like, fuck, I'm in. You're in. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. So, really, people are pushing the limits of, of what Doom can be. Um, and then there is this. Pregnancy Test Doom. Um, but unfortunately, this is a little misleading as well. Um, because they stripped out everything in the pregnancy test and it's a little tiny computer running on a little tiny screen. But still. Very interesting. It's still interesting and impressive. And it's obviously running through blue, Bluetooth, I think, off of a, a mini keyboard. And very creative. I, I give them that. It's not really running on a pregnancy Someone, test. I think it's just one of those things where I never in a million years would, <laughs> would think that you'd be, you'd be glimpsing Doom on a pregnancy test, yeah. and here we are. Yeah, and it, this one is one-bit video. It's yeah, this on is, or off. This is video art once again. <laughs> it is. You really got no Doom to play this. Mostly dark. Yeah. But you, can, you can see the firing. You can see enemies once in a while. Yeah. There yeah. you go. A door opened. Yeah, you can kind of yeah, you can kind of figure it out. Yeah, it yeah, almost yeah. seems like a meme, hey, that they, there's this kind <laughs> of that there really is this sort of meme of like Doom can run on anything. Let's yeah. go. If it's got a screen and the the thing is, if it's got a screen and a processor, it can run Doom. <laughs> Maybe not well. Let's say. Yeah, yeah. I guess at this point, the player knows the first level map by heart. Yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. 
Yeah, I mean, if you're programming Doom on a pregnancy test, I feel like you've played <laughs> Doom more than once. You kind of know Doom. Yeah. <laughs> you've definitely been in there. Wait, don't play it. I thought I pressed pause. Let's go back. And, of course, people, somebody preempted me in the chat saying, play the ad. We're playing the ad. Hell is a dark prison filled with lost souls and demons. And how do you escape this damnation? Blast, blast the pink demons right between their beady little eyes. Doom for the 64-bit Jaguar. <laughs> that's, that's a good commercial. Yeah. A preacher. Because <laughs> the, the funny thing about all these satanic games you're always fighting evil in them. Oh, yeah. You're, you're like the a, good guy. You're a paladin getting in there. And... Yeah. So all the, you know, protests back in the 90s and, and even 80s of evil games, you're playing the good guy. You're yeah. fighting the demons and you're fighting against hell. So they should have been encouraging this. It's like, yeah, isn't that what you want? It's always you so... want to fight against the demons. Parents are so funny. They're like, they're like, <laughs> meanwhile, like all these kids are out getting drunk, like <laughs> jumping right. over, like you know, embankments with friggin' and, and bikes. We, <laughs> and we're at home. We're playing video games, fighting the evils of Heck, the world. Yeah, hanging out. We're saving humanity. Meeting up with your buddies, playing D and D. Like it's like yeah. good shit's happening there. Trust me, your kid is way safer playing Doom in the yep. basement. That's what <laughs> I was playing Doom and. playing playing D D in the basement then out that was my 80s and 90s yeah, man then out there do you want to yeah go to your room stop killing hitler <laughs> that's exactly right okay so we have come to it uh let me get up the thing i am to read before we start um my computer my computer crashed just before the stream oh, no which is good it crashed before the stream but i had been running it for a very long time and i do crazy things on this. Sometimes you fly too close to the sun, it happens. It does. So let me uh, get up the disclaimer that the team um, sent me. I think we'll go full screen on this. Yeah, we'll go... Where's it better? Let me try it the other way, where it's just like this. Let's see if that's bigger. Well, I can't do it that way. Okay. You guys can read it. You got big TVs you're watching this on, right? Okay. Doom Slayer Edition Beta 1. Disclaimer. Page 1 of 19. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's 1 of 1. The Slayer team are happy to provide a beta of our work to ZPH to showcase on their stream. And we would like to extend thanks to James, Tanya, Erlen, and all the others involved for the opportunity. But before the game is loaded, we would like to make a few points clear to avoid James having to deal with the same questions over and over. Thank you. Uh, and to clear a few things up. You are all wearing your big boy Space Marine combat pants. So be, to be blunt, soldiers, this is very much still beta. If it crashes during the presentation, beta. Reload and get over it. Uh, star uh, hashtag is your friend. Star pound. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to have to go old school for this. Uh, sometimes. If anything weird happens during the presentation, beta. Move on and get over it. We still have work to do on this. We know that and kindly ask for your continued patience. Yes, we know you've been four years patient, but you've also waited 30 years. So a bit longer isn't a huge ask. That's right. Yes, we absolutely will find a way to get this into your hands at some point. It will happen. We need time. We will ignore any, when will this be released? How can I get it? Put me on the list to get this questions in the chat because it's just been covered. It will come out eventually. And lastly, frame rate. We have yet to do an optimization pass. Due to constant changes, optimize will be the last thing we will do. And with all that said, enjoy. And feel free to ask any questions. The Slayer team, Welsh warrior, a bit of everything, everything easily distracted by rabbit holes. Sporadic, traditional, patient, methodical, archeologist type change, uh, changes. Cyrano J, speed archeologist uh, changes, Get that JCB in here now. Neo RG, who I met at PRG. Hi. Cartographer. Saturn Cartographer. That's the team. Also, a hat tip to Beefman for kickstarting this with the Doom Music Hack Thread, which we just saw. Uh, cue uh, Wibbly Wobbly Scream and Harp Music. And there's the link to the uh, thread. 
uh, which I uh, we looked at at the top yeah, of the so show. I'm, I'm with Smitty in that. Like, what I got away from this is this is definitely a final build. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I... The, the, it, to summarize... To summarize, what I heard is this is all final. Final this build, is, it'll be released later it's gonna today. It's going to be released. Oh, wait, uh, that's the complete... It's actually already it's released. Final Doom. <laughs> they must know ZPH reputation for finding bugs, yes. Uh, uh, excellent. <laughs> um, unleash the hell spawn. Oh, so sick. Let's do and it. with that, this is the exclusive world premiere of Jaguar's Doom Slayer Edition. Fuck yeah. Exclusive world premiere. Exclusive. Let's get this controller into your hands. Okay, this cord, sick. if you can't move all of a sudden, I need to replace this cord or fix it. Okay, okay, cool. Just have to keep it straight. Okay. Okay, all good. So let's get this loaded up. Let's switch it so we can see it, not just them. Okay, so B to B start that up. going. Loading the ROM. Nice, nice, nice. It's been a minute, so this is going to be awesome. It's going to yes. be really fun. So, uh, well, this is loading. Uh, criticism of the original Doom, which is why this exists. Um, despite being one of the best console ports of the game, there were criticism. No in-game music. The chip needed to run the music was already being used for the game's hit detection, apparently. No pro controller support, which you're playing with. It has shoulder buttons to strafe back and forth. The original did not have that. You had to hold down a button and move back and forth. Uh, removal of some enemies. Cyber demons, spider masterminds, and the specters were not in there. Uh, no final boss fight. And I want to thank the team for making this decompression screen. Doom operating system 6.4. Allocating cry screens. Low Jaguar defaults. Upgrading. <laughs> Heap size inefficient. Slayer edition. Engaged. In it, man cubus info. Nothing to see here. Be gone, Harry. Tom and Blitter. D pad. Sporadic Damon. Welsh Warrior Damon. Cyrano J Damon. Nair RG Damon. Saturn Damon. Sound Blaster isn't responding. <laughs> oh no, the Sound checking, Blaster. Checking network setting up huds. No hell interface detected. Shifter not detected. Prepare to slay. So Fuck awesome. Yeah. Uh, there's You couldn't save the progress in the other one. Missing several levels and secrets. Oh. oh shit yeah to me i i'll let it run a little bit again tell me what you think it reminds you of this music let me turn up a little bit it's not music it's more like ethereal it'll loop around again eventually amazing it might or maybe not <laughs> oh man i'm here for it i want it come on Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, after this. Yeah. Like the first, when I, when I heard it again for the first time, uh, it was like, oh my God, that's so reminiscent of, from a movie. Um, also, it was missing stampers, the ceiling that stamped down and crushed you as well. Oh, fuck the soundtrack. What 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 do you, what, what do you Taxi think? driver. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, that's right. Like the opening oh, title credits, so right? Credits, and then right? like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yes. a little. Uh, oh yeah, it was like, oh my god. Bernard Herman fucking stole it from Taxi Driver. Okay, uh, let's get into it. Cool. And uh, there's so much more options. So press B. So let's go to the options first. Uh, down, oh yeah, down Slayer, Slayer oh. options, and we'll go to options. So we've got a ton of options here. So let's figure out what they are before we get there. Undertaker. It removes monster corpses after death. Cool. So might speed things up, right? Glacier stops animated textures. Oh wait, where is that? Not there. It's okay. Uh, let's go. No flashing. Removes all strobe and flashing lights. 
Good for sensitive people. No swagger. Removes gun sway and view bob. Okay, so Speeds so things up. You no gotta have swagger, that, right? Man. I gotta get, I gotta, gotta get the I swagger. I gotta get my swag on. What are we doing without <laughs> any swagger? Come on. Quick draw. Hide weapon graphic unless shooting. Speeds things up yeah. yet again. Nighttime. Removes sky texture. These are all for speeding it up. If you want that. Fastest FPS. That's right. Um, no flats. Removes floor and ceiling textures. Um, and oh hud type now they provide us with a number of hud types so we've got the original jaguar hud type let's go to the next one a mini one a pc one so we'll do the original jag first yeah just to keep it old school so let's go back I mean, and go to the cheats god mode fully loaded so god mode self-explanatory infinite health and armor uh same as existing these are uh, some of these are the same as existing fully loaded start with all weapons ammos and keys makes it really easy yeah <laughs> uh all map walls show the entire auto map not as you discover it but shows the right one at once all map items so you know where everything is on the map auto run always run forward backwards strafe I don't know, you may want to turn that on. I don't know if you always run in games. I usually do, but we can uh, we can keep that on or off. And then Boomstick. Nice. This is my Boomstick. Extra powerful shotgun. Cool. And extra gore. Classic. More blood. Extra gore. That's right. So we'll leave all those off for now. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll come back to them and yeah, turn it mess on. With... So game mode. Uh, if you go up to game mode, we've got single, we've got co-op. Oh, no, back, 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 back. Uh, left and right. Co-op oh. and deathmatch. Death but we only have one Jaguar and one TV. Single. So we're going to do single. And uh, then we could go Too Young to Die, which is easiest. These are all the standard ones. Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. So which one are you comfortable with? I'm just going to do not too rough. Okay. I just think for, for the purposes of here. Got to have the boomstick option on. We will. We'll, we will. We'll, we'll play around. I think, yeah, I haven't played this in years, so it'll be good to like. And uh, Cyrano uh, points out this is episodic now, not a string of levels like the original. So cool. press the button to go to the next screen. So B. We just like... There you go. So uh, if you go up to episodes, you can go a lot back and forth. Inferno, number three. And back to the left. There. Knee Deep in the Dead is the first one. Cool. And it shows you what area you start in. And so nice. we want to start with the first one. Let's the one that it. everybody is familiar with. And as we make our way through this, uh, we're going to read out what all the changes are. And you might be seeing them as we play it. So Cool. Press a button. Let's dive into it. Yeah, let me get the lay of the land first. It's been a while. We'll have to... Music! Obviously the first one. So the B button is fire. Uh, C button is open door. Yeah, see, this is where like I'm so much more used to like a mouse and keyboard, but that's yes. okay. Oh, the... But you, you, you do play on consoles. Oh, yeah. You have played with D-pads, so... Bit hard with no network adapter. That as well. I don't have a network adapter. Nice. Yeah. Okay, music added during gameplay. Number one, of course. Um, and there's music volume control added to the options menu as well. Um, the spider mastermind was added. Uh, specters properly what are, rendered. What are, uh, what are our oh, uh, C is open the door. Okay. And A is run. Ooh. Um, and that's where you start, so you can't go back. There is no returning back. No... You are on a mission now. Fuck yeah, let's get let's... Shoot that barrel. <laughs> um, strafe added for pro controller shoulder buttons, so you should practice those as well. There oh, you yeah. go, you got the strafes. Hmm. Um, they're mapped to the four and six buttons if you uh, don't have a pro controller. Oh, get that dude. There you go. Uh, therefore, the weapon buttons have been remapped. One, two, and three are unchained. 
uh, unchanged. Uh, five is the chain gun, seven is rocket launcher, eight is plasma, nine is BFG, and zero is the map. So if you want to click on zero so we can see the map. Zero. Oh go. yeah, cool. There you go, and you can move around. You can also oh, move sick. around in the map by holding down C um, and moving your dude. There you go. But of course you don't know. <laughs> a little hard to navigate. Maybe once you've cleared all the all the enemies off the off the board, then you can move around like that. The intermissions have been updated. Uh, stage stats count up and extra sound effects similar to the PC. And a timer has been added uh, for the level as well. Menu sound effects added. So they didn't have sound effects in the menu. Oh. ABD official, I'm late. I just joined. What I miss? Any important points? We just got into the gameplay, like uh, West YGW says. Um, basic save game to EEPROM has been added. Might enhance further. To be added, load when in game. This al allows for faster restart if you need to power off the console. In any game, at any point, press Option, then 5. This will save and close the options menu, so you can save the game while you're playing. No more do you have to start from the very beginning. See, that's really nice. Yeah, so you don't have the yeah, shotgun so yet, so... I need some... I want a better weapon than my... Yes, just you definitely do. So Standard operation. Go back... Oh, there's still a guy there. Oh, oh boy. shit. That's can I take him out with the barrel? Oh, yeah. Got him. Um, on the title screen, you will then see a new continue option. Choose this to start from the beginning of the level you saved at. Items saved are current level, current difficulty, guns, ammo, and max ammo. So pretty much everything. So you can kind of fudge it with um, your health. It says it doesn't uh, save your health. So if you're low on health, you could save the game <laughs> and then reload the game. 0% <laughs> secrets. When is the fizzle copies to drop? Oh, yeah, you just came in the chat. Um, there's no ETA. This is a beta. There's That's right. We're, we're figuring it out. It's all good. Yep. Um, cheat menu. Press pause on the main menu. Uh, gameplay modifiers. Uh, C section below. Hack menu. Press zero on the main menu. And get to those. That is, that's changed. You're able to get to those much easier now. Oh, he blew himself up. <laughs> Damn, dude. I need a better gun. Yes, you need the shotgun. There was a hidden shotgun on level one. Oh, of course there is. Yeah. That's okay. You can do it. But, that, that, but that's, you know, that's like... <laughs> this is going to make the game too easy. That's right. Uh, IWAD relocated for easier expansion. That's a programming thing. Binary compressed, and we saw that when it was loading up. It had a, a decompression screen. So this is a um, 6 meg megabyte uh, file. The original is 4 megabytes. Oh, surprise! The mission end screen is superb. So many additions. Yes. Blip Squeak says, This is incredible. Good work, devs. Thank you for your hard work. Yes. Um, status bar Ooh, realigned. Was yeah, 15 yeah. pixels out in source release. Map cheat codes changed so they can actually be used in the game. Um, so there's also... A, um, you're able to use the cheat codes in game as well. On the auto map, type one, two, three to show all the walls, four, five, six to show all the items. You're able to do cheats while playing the game, not just before you start the game. So if you forget or you get stuck, you can do the cheats. Uh, the demos were removed due to sync issues. And I, I saw that in the thread early on. Um, when they added in the music, it, the demos got right out of sync. So I don't know if this would be added back in or they might just be left out completely. Um, fuck yeah, dude. Look at this. Oh, you got the shotgun! 32 ammo. Good start. That's okay, so how do I switch? Or say, so, uh, oh, one, two, three. So that's okay, your, one that's is your nothing. fist. nothing. Cool, three. I'm just gonna like... There you go. I am gonna save Conserve. it for a minute. Okay. Get that... Uh, oh, your armor's at 101 already. Nice. Uh, fixed. Bootloader incorrectly using zero as a list terminator. How did this even boot, they say. <laughs> fixed. Ouch face now displayed when the gr when the player re receives plus uh, more than 20 damage in a single tick. 
So you see your face at the bottom. That was a really cool add-on that they did. And it reflects your health. And <coughs> so now when you receive more than 20 damage, say from an exploding barrel or something, he'll show the ouch face. Um, because it, before it only showed up when it was 30 or more damage. So I get... Oh, watch out. Stay back. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was the best part. He's blowing and, up some barrels, dude. And I have some info oh, about shoo, barrels later I in, relation, about this. in this relation to death. Doom. Death. Yeah, death. You gotta death. run. Death. Pull down that A button to run across there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you're good over here. Make sure everything's... Uh, PWOD support, or now known as JWODs. No, Jaguar no, WODs. No, no. Single levels can be included per JWOD at compile time. These take precedence over any matching lumps in the IWOD. So, what they have done is made this compatible with WADs. And what WADs are is, is a file that contains all the information that you need for a level in Doom. So, theoretically, all of those WADs, those thousands, probably tens of thousands of levels that people have made over the decades can be incorporated into, say, special releases for the new Jaguar Doom. Slayer Edition, which is awesome. So you can have like continuing more and more levels released for, for Doom. New animated textures on those walls. Yes, we will get to that as well. Lump indexes correctly adjusted for the additional JWADs. Networking fixes. Various fixes to sync player data, including adjusting for each console and own VBL count. Monster teleporting. Mobs can now walk through teleports. So they, they were stuck where they were before. But now they can follow you through the teleporters. A couple people guarding. Oh, there's a space marine downed. Oh, get those. Oh, you're maxed out. <laughs> you're doing good. Maxed out everything. 200% armor. This is like you run right into here, right? This is... I think, yeah, it's, it's like a teleporter. There's no switch. Oh, there's a switch. So now it's gone. Nice. screens it's got the time on the screen it didn't have the time before so i also i think because of the timing right it's just like... now you can do speed runs on jaguar that's right you couldn't do that you before you had jag to jag speed run you had to do it manually before right you got the rifle why are you using uh why are you using shotgun oh you have a what oh he wants to save it he's using for a special occasion well yeah you know and <laughs> so maxed out <laughs> um, map definitions. You can now define the proper exit, secret exit, and sky texture for all maps. They are no longer hard coded. See map details in C, uh, g underscore g g underscore game dot c. Um, and they added a bunch of missing uh, special things in the game. Um, and th that list will be it's a big long list. That'll be uh, available later. I'm not going to read out all those because they're just a bunch of lists. Um, added the missing POS death three sound effect. Um, hold C then pause to view during this so game. Cool. Oh, let's see that. Hold C then pause. Free memory. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and shown wait, in the wait, following wait, wait, wait. order. Oh, there you go. Uh, what is this doing? VBLS in frame. Phase times, this is in order, tick ticks, sound ticks, level timer, play crits, think crits, sight ticks, base ticks, late ticks, whatever it is. You can turn so, a bunch of numbers. A bunch of numbers used for developers and making the game better and nice. making sure debug view is for access. Too high IQ for me. <laughs> and level I cheat. want shoot. Shoot uh, enemy. Move the cursor to level select in the main menu, then hold one and three. This unlocks all the levels. So we're able to get to any level we want. There we go. Shotgun time. I think you're you're pretty good with the shotgun. I I, I think you have enough ammo. I'm I'm hoping. I'm oh, hoping. See, lots of ammo. Just Okay, so these I do find these controls a bit a bit tough. Yeah. Just just for like a situation like this. For strafing? Oh come on. Oh, there's a the girl. Girl. Oh! <laughs> Gotta blow him off the side. Oh, somebody up there. Just just, pot just for you. like the precision. Well, every new control scheme takes a little bit. Well, you'll, you'll to get see once you get. 
Um, Ooh, some killing me? Yeah. Okay. Buddy. Let's continue on with facts about Doom. Some interesting facts about Doom. The game was banned in Germany for 17 years and could not be advertised, sold, rented, or otherwise given to minors. In Germany, yeah. Germany. They, uh, there's, there's... You think they would be more pissed off about Wolf and stuff? <laughs> oh, they were. They were. This probably carried over. Oh, you're those people who made Wolfenstein. No, no, no. The ban was lifted on August 31st, 2011, when Bethesda Software, who... Bethesda, yo! They, they came to the rescue, because they, they own... Um, it, it, uh, um, Do you remember? Now IP. that I got this code right, I, there's nothing more here, hey, I think. Yeah, you've got the key. I got the probably key. only one key. So I yeah, and then I, I got to ba backtrack, I think. Um, I really Bethesda Softworks argued that modern games were much worse than the crude graphics of a game from 1993. So uh, yeah, I how, would I would agree with that. So that's how they got a, got away with that. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's to get out of there. Buddy. Yeah. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> you're, you're safe up there. You don't have to. You don't have to get all worked up. Yeah. What's the What's the big deal? Uh, just, just, it's not like I've murdered all your friends. We played it never less. Thrust said he's from Germany. <laughs> How did you play it in Germany? That's that's super cheating. Hmm. I don't remember. Bring up the map. It might help. Ooh, the door. I might, uh, oh, there we go. There's some new stuff. Well, shot to the head. Is this your way out? Oh, we haven't got any of these. Might be new. Or it might just be more oh, bonuses. Secrets. Widely regarded as one of the most important titles in gaming history. In the wake of its immense popularity, dozens of new first-person shooter titles appeared, which were more often referred to as Doom clones. Yeah. They were not first-person shooters. This was not a genre. The genre was called Doom Clones at first. Um, some of these games were f based on the Doom engine, Heretic and Hexen. I don't know if you ever heard of those. Others include Rise of the Triad, Dark Forces, and Duke Nukem 3D. You definitely heard of that. Oh, yeah. And I played all of them. All of them were so good, especially Heretic and Hexen, where it brought it into the realm of uh, spellcasting instead of... Uh, weapons. It was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Spell casting, dual uh, fireballs you're shooting. So awesome. Um, until recently, nobody was able to get 100% perfect kills on level E1M8 on Doom until speed uh, using the speedrun rules, which is start clean with a pistol in each level, until a month ago. By Zero Master, Carl Jopes did a great video, great two, channel, two weeks ago on on that exact speed speed run accomplishment that nobody's been able to do for 30 years. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, Carl Jopes has, uh, yeah, like he's an amazing channel. So every like every video is worth watching. Yeah. And just a crazy amount of research, and he's actually a yeah. speedrunner himself. Yeah, so. he's like a world record, previously world record, and some world record title holder, uh, mostly on Goldeneye, I think. Right? Yeah, and I think, um, I think he might have a Doom one actually too. Mm. I could be really wrong with that though. Yeah. There have been uh, 19 Doom video game sequels since the original PC version. I'm not talking Quake. Talking Doom sequels, just Doom. So uh, immensely popular, and one's going to be coming out soon as well. Um, also, Doom 2, the sequel to this game, was the first game to be given a mature 17 plus rating from the ESRB, Entertainment Software Rating Board. So this game was so violent, <laughs> they had to make up a new level of ratings for Doom 2. Um, and and the, the barrels, I said I was going to say something. Doom has the honor of being the first shooter to feature exploding barrels. Oh. So this was the OG of exploding barrels. That's right. And ever since then, people have just... Uh, there was a video, um, I can't remember who it was done by. I think it was Ahoy. Um, it's all about, it's like an hour long and it's dedicated to exploding barrels in video <laughs> games and it's fascinating i think that was the first video i watched of of their channel 
Sometimes you just gotta blast. Yep, just take out the gun and start blasting. Sometimes blasting's the only way through. Zombie Phoenix says, oh my god, there's actual music in my ear holes. Oh, dude, it's... The ba Baldur's Gate, can you move your bottle oh, to sorry. the right a bit? Or under. Thank dude, you. Dude, I know all about that. That's so true. Baldur's Gate 3 orc barrel video is great. What? Barrel. I don't know the reference. Oh. Baldur's Gate 3 orc barrel. I'll have to look that up. And the and the in the video. The four barbarians. Four barbarians. Huh. Um, only 79% kill oh, rate. Oh, what the hell? It took, only, it took me seven, seven minutes. What are you, pacifist? Seconds. What's going on? <laughs> okay. I did graduate from the pistol based off of chat's recommendation. That's true. He's now using the shotgun. Okay, so let's, uh, let's learn a little bit about what Doom is. Doom is a simple plot. It's background given in the instruction manual. Uh, the player takes the role of a marine, one of the Earth's toughest, hardened in combat and trained for action, who has been incarcerated on Mars after assaulting a senior officer uh, when ordered to fire upon civilians. So, you're a good guy. I am. I, I didn't want to butcher civilians. <laughs> the, the, the bar Jerry is either. really high. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> there, he works alongside the Union Aerospace Corporation, a multi-planetary conglomerate and military contractor performing secret experiments on interdimensional travel. Recently, the teleporter has shown signs of anomalies and instability, but the research continues nonetheless. Suddenly, something goes wrong and creatures from hell swarm out of the teleportation gates. From hell! Hell. On De Demos and Phobos. A defensive response from the base security fa fails to halt the invasion, and the bases are quickly overrun by monsters. All personnel are killed or turned into zombies. So you are the last person. A military detachment from Mars travels to Phobos to investigate the incident. The player is tasked with securing the perimeter as the assault team and their heavy weapons are brought inside. Radio contact soon ceases and the player realizes he is the only survivor. Oh, the descent was on Mars too. Oh my God, descent was so good. Descent blew my mind when I played that. That was, I bought a joystick just for descent. It had, a, like... it had a hat on the top of the joystick because you had to move in three dimensions. You're a flying ship. Oh my god, I love Descent. Got some health. Somehow, I survived. Uh, being unable to pilot the shuttle off Phobos by himself, possibly because of the shuttle being damaged during landing, the only way to escape is to go inside and fight through the complexes of the moon base. Oh shit. That is your mission. Oh so, shit. Yep, it's tough. So let's uh, take a look at some of the enemies of Doom. Episodes. Uh, monsters, they call them. Zombie Man, Shotgun Guy, Imp, which are the, the most common ones. They're the oh, brown yeah. guys that go, oh, ooh, ooh. Space suits. You can go into the, go into the green stuff without uh, worry. A little hard to see, but that's the trade off. Does it decrease? Or is it, it times out? I can't remember. I don't it's remember over either. I think it times out. Um, a demon. Spectre, Baron of Hell, Lost Soul, Cacodemon, Cyber Demon, Spider Demon. And uh, the weapons are your fist, uh, chainsaw, pistol, shotgun, chain gun, rocket launcher, plasma gun, BFG 9000. That's the one they do. That's the shit right there. there you go. The suits don't last forever, sadly. Okay, time's out. There we go. MS Sidewinder FF for the win. Is that the one I had? I can't remember which joystick. Sadly, I, I got rid of it. I guess not much use anymore. I, you could probably get a um, an adapter to USB. Maybe? I'm sure there's somebody makes it. Okay, I gotta find this chip. I don't know. And the episodes uh, Knee Deep in the Dead, Pretty which sure is the one you're playing. Right here. Shores <laughs> of Hell. Pretty sure it's just opening this. <laughs> Inferno. And then uh, additional episodes were uh, added in Ultimate Doom because this was never released in retail for PC. This was just passed around. You could just download this, uh, the first episode. 
Um, but eventually it was, it was packaged together for Ultimate Doom and they added Thy Flesh Consumed. And then a bonus episode was re released separately, Sigil. Also notice there's no Gunsway in this one. Oh, is it turned off? We'll go, we'll go back and turn on all the options. Ooh, they even fixed the sound effect. Pitch bug suffered by Jag Retail and Doom 95. Stop saving your ammo, Cyrano says. <laughs> hey, it's being precise. It's I doing love. just fine. Oh, use your use your 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 shoulder buttons. Oh yeah, you, you just gotta, have to duck out of the way. You gotta you gotta get those in into play. Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll, I won't. <laughs> Switching weapons. Oh. Haven't picked up any more. No, I have. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's... oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four is the chain gun. Takes a while to spin up and spin down, right? Takes a second to get there, but once you're there, it's good. Oh, you're there. Let's learn about the imp. Uh, the imps are human-sized humanoid. Demon, demons, and also the most common enemies in Doom games. Those are the guys that go, and fire fireballs at you. Um, oh my god. Abs taking up half of my screen. Uh, thus can be considered to be the backbone of all Hellspawn in the entire franchise. The Doom instruction manual says, you thought an imp was cute, little dude in a red suit with a pitchfork. Where did these brown bastards come from? They have balls of fire down your throat. They heave balls of fire down your throat and take several bullets to die. It's time to find a weapon better than the pistol if you're going to face more than one of these SOBs. And for people who joined late, uh, the devs are in the chat and uh, they're putting beside their names when they say things dev in brackets. So if you have any questions for them, uh, anything you missed, um, things that they might be adding on later or things they've improved. Um, just don't ask about when this is coming out. Um, what was the other thing don't ask about? <laughs> don't ask about when this is coming out. It comes out when, when it's it ready. Out. That's right. Yes. Sadly, Gunsway was a feature. Yes, we will add that in. Uh, we'll add it in when we go to when we load up the second episode. Yeah. So what uh, you're on area four? Probably we'll probably do that next. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. And then I'll, I'll let you have a go. Oh yeah, that sounds good. So I think I've exhausted my, my trivia at this point. Yeah, I'll let you finish this level. So good. I'm trying to do a pistol only run. <laughs> A, a pacifist run where you kill nothing at all. That's right. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, it should be. Dude, I'm, someone has tried it in this game. Yeah, There's for no sure. fucking question. Pro, pro controller for strafe on the shoulder. Yes, so they've added pro controller support, which is was sadly needed in the original Jaguar for uh, strafing left and right. It makes life so much better because before you had to hold down a button and then move left and right, but now you can move and strafe at the same time. Before it did limit yeah, what you could do. Yeah, because of course you're gonna need the gold key. Nice. Okay, that's the way out of this. It's the way out of this hellhole. Gotta find a way out. Oh, press the button. And then open the door. There we go. For scope of, scope of the situation. Oh, I feel like I've already been here. Oh, it, oh, there we go. There's the exit. It's probably like a one-way loop, maybe. I'll do it. There you go. And the elevator button. How'd you do? Oh, yeah. 90%? That's not That's too bad That's pretty good. All. Cool. Zero pass secrets. Pass over. Pass over. Okay. Seven minutes. Eight minutes. 23. So. Uh, it's kind of a world record pace. Yeah, I yeah think. pretty much. Yeah. Not only anyone's get that it. on the board. I don't think anyone's beaten it faster than that. So. <laughs> well, they wouldn't know because they'd never had timers for Jaguar before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's let's turn on everything. Let's turn it on. Let's unleash. So we're going to Slayer options. Go to the options. 
Oh, some of these you did have. So uh, we'll turn off Swagger. Cool. Um, quick draw, nighttime. Well, let's not do those. Because those kind of make it look not as nice. Yeah. It, it makes it simpler. Quick, yeah, because it's, it's holding together really well. Quick draw gets rid of the weapon. So we'll do that. We'll change the HUD type. What do we want? Mini or PC? PC. Yeah, PC. Go, uh, go OG. Um... Undertaker will take away dead enemies. And we can, we'll do no flashing, I think. Sure. PC. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> yeah. like, PC, PC, we want yeah. it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go god mode, fully loaded, so we can show all the weapons. Uh, might as well do all map walls, map items. I'll do auto run. Boo this is my boomstick. Extra gore. Extra gore, let's do it. Okay. So we're going to do... I mean, it doesn't matter the difficulty since you're in God mode. Well, might as well crank it up then. Ultra violence. A little bit of the ultra violence. Okay, the shores of hell. Loading. Extra gore. Oh, oh, it, oh boy. Yeah, we're running. I don't know if I like running. Yeah, it's nice to have <laughs> the feature, right? Like, it's kind of one of those things where you, like... I actually also don't love the quick draw myself either. Oh. It's nice to be able to like, um, it's cleaner for the HUD, but it also helps a lot with yeah. aiming. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the run and I'm gonna put back on the gun because it's because. just because you could run for sure, right? But yeah, quick draws, quick draws nice. It just makes things faster. Also, for some of those areas, you have to kind of navigate through like a little bit of a you know the, the lava on the side, and like you actually kind of need to walk for those. Yeah. So so, quick draw, and what was the other thing I... Oh, the running. Under cheat? Yeah. There we go. I have a cheat, I guess. Yeah, because it's like <laughs> you can just rip through. But in a way, it's... Yeah. There we go. Leave the flashing on is what the dev says. Oh, no. No. Let's go back. <laughs> or you miss a lot of the lighting. Oh, okay. Yeah, you miss atmosphere. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, anything else? I think that I think we're good. I think, I think we're, we're good. good. And if we're not, we'll just keep going. Yeah, because it's it's. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, cats. Okay. These lights in my eyes. Sweat. Did you have trouble too <laughs> on this one? It's a dark game. Oh uh, no, it's not too bad. But no? um. Okay. Oh hello. Oops. The swagger is cool, but um. Oh, extra gore. Oh, come on. Sorry for the uselessness. There we go. Oh, I guess I'm, like, invincible. Oh, look at all the ammo. Yeah, <laughs> you have you have all this ammo, but I'd switch through your guns and try out some different oh, ones, yeah. right? Okay, so you had that. Oh, didn't have that. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. the... Uh... Rocket launcher. Oh, so oh, Beautiful. The key card. Yeah, it's crazy how games. Oh, I have all the key cards. So many games just owe themselves to this one, right? Like it's oh, just, it is genre defining like piece, man. And it's just also just this the style and aesthetic of of this sort of like they just did it so well, and that you it, oh hello, it a lot to live up to. So let's go switch weapons again. Plasma. Oh, they're coming through. Oh, I got a dodge. Dodge. Get out of dodge. Nice. Go through the teleporter. Hello. Hell. Yeah. Mow him down. Did monster teleporting didn't exist in the Jag Doom? Nope. And now they've implemented teleporting, which so is very, good. very cool. So they're trying to make it as close to the PC as possible, which is which is what you want, right? Which that's I, the original. That's, that's the it. template, right? Like right. that's the. I believe they um, did a lot of the textures as well. They imported, moved over a lot of textures um, from the PC version. And in the thread on Atari Age, you can, um, Thank you for following. Oh, thanks, guys. ABD official, thank you. 
Glad you like what we're doing here. See that that when you um, are shooting, it's not three. There's no up and down, so everything is like on the same level. Thank yeah, and there's a almost, and there's a little bit of auto aim Everyone. in this too to kind of make yes. your life a bit easier, like because you can't aim up and down. And it and and I also just like because of the nature of the game, like having a little bit of that assist. Yes. Okay. Because, oh my God, you can see the enemies too. Yeah, really nice. Go the right way. Yeah. Try some of the other guns too. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's go to... Oh, not that. Oh, yeah, okay. So the, um... The dev said turn off the music for a bit so that you can... Oops. You can see, um... Because it's not optimized yet, they... Uh, turning off the music increases the frame rate, like, exponentially. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. Because <laughs> it's not using... Like, it didn't have music in the original. I love how customizable your settings are. I think it's so smart to make oh, something so that's very good. modular that you can kind of, like, pick whatever version you want. Because, of course, yes. everyone's going to have different things that they like. Some people like the, sw the sway, some people won't, some people like quick draw. Like, yes. my friend who plays tons of um, FPSs, his whole philosophy is he wants no HUD. He wants it to be mm, as immersive as possible. Yeah. Um, and I... That's not me. I, I'm not in that, but but we are like two different gamers right it's great to have like the options for especially for a game like doom where I'm, everyone's got a different way in which they probably want to play exactly Come on. and i love the kind of like golden eye style like end of an episode this is how long it took yes great for speed running it's crazy how much is in this game right like and, and just emerged with this genre that's not it where's bfg not zero. See it two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh my God! It's not where I wanted to go. Let's go back. Oh, oh, okay. It takes me back there. Hi. Hey, Sprite. There we go. Hello. Crazy. You can see with the weaker guns, it actually, especially on this difficulty. Yes. Ah pushed me back again. The skulls. Awesome. Oh, I love the skulls. I actually added an icon into the chat today um, with the floating uh, flaming skulls, if anybody wants oh, to put that yeah. in the chat. Oh, Shadow Demons. Oh, nice. Yeah. Those didn't exist in the original. Uh, Jaguar. So. Man, there's so many updates that have happened. It's so yeah. cool to see. This is what people have been waiting for. Spectres. For so everyone's long. screaming in chat. Hell Spectres. yeah. Spectres. Uh, did I come from here? Where did I come from? Which one do I go in? Just keep exploring. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Oh, yep, I'm in here. Eat lead. Demons from hell. So, um, which Doom did you play? Um, um, originally, it wasn't the PC in 93. No, it wouldn't have been. I remember I the first one that popped onto my radar was Doom 3. Yeah. Which was on, I believe that was Xbox, the very first Xbox. Okay. And and they kind of really were trying to compete and redefine themselves. And then after playing that, I went back and remember played Doom 1 and Doom 2 on PC. But just because I was really interested in like the, the the genre. But Doom 3 was crazy because you had a you go into the go into like the darkness and you yeah. have a flashlight where you could see or you could shoot so you would have to like and for a while you couldn't put your flashlight on your gun <laughs> so you would just be like looking and then you turn it off and shoot into like darkness and put oh, your God. so it was a very games, it was yeah. a little bit sort of like resident evilly in a way like it had that sort of like horror feel to it um and of course the same sort of marine stuff and they added in some more sort of stealth elements much like wolfenstein for three but they, but it was really like a i feel like this game was this was you know when people think of doom i mean doom one is just like there we go 
It's it's the shit. It's what it's all about. Oh, um, yeah. But but Doom Three was what, kind of my first intro into it, um, and just and I was just blown away. There we go. And particularly the atmosphere and aesthetic of this whole thing, I think that's what I'm the most taken by is this kind of like, I love like Diablo and Diablo 2 and this kind of like gothic horror. This is like marine gothic horror, you know? Yes, like you're just, you're it's in quite the, a mix. Rather than metal a, rather than a well. paladin with a sword, you're a marine with a shotgun. Like, it's so sick. Okay. I think try those stairs, eh? Oh my god. Oh, hello! First appearance. Oh, and it's Kakadaman. crazy how these feel like beholders, right? Like how much that also that D&D &D aesthetic really changed things, ah, too. Yes, Man, yeah, it's, it's, it's a super mix of so many different genres. But it's cool how they all... And also metal all music together. and, like, fantasy and D&D &D and has always kind of been intertwined, right? Like, even, like, you look at those old, like, metal, like, album covers. Yes. There's something about, like, being in hell and demons. And, like, it's all, like, fits that world. And my neighbors are, like, big metal heads. Oh, yeah. And so it's cool. I get to, like, <laughs> see windows into, like... It's not my genre, but it's so... They uh, love it so much. And it's been cool to get to know and, like, have these windows in. Um, and the thing metal music as well is that like they for sure play metal music live and that's something that's great right like oh. in this day and age a lot of music is like not necessarily live it's like that's right twitch must have changed something there are ads for me now too better stream pauses while the ads are suppressed oh good i mean it pushes you back a bit though so. I like items 100 percent. but it's it's good <laughs> yeah oh wow oh yeah because Auto automatic it's exactly items. right We'll play one more level Sounds good. on this. Actually, we might skip to uh, the third yeah, go for um, it. installment briefly and take a look at that level. And then we have something special for oh, you. Should we get music back? Uh, the, oh, yeah, let's put the music back on. Um, yeah, that's in-game, so. Inferno. Inferno. Oh, my God, so cool. And the skulls and everything. Oh, this one is... Yeah, body horror. They put body horror in this as well. Oh, I uh, use speed. Uh, use I want to see. So you can change. Come on. Oh, there it is. Left and right. So I want uh, C for use. B for fire. There we go. Use the shotgun. <laughs> we got the boomstick element going on. It's crazy too. Um, uh, I rewatched. Uh, yeah, these are the things you have to touch. Oh God! Here we go. I just rewatched um, Alien One last weekend. Oh, and so good. It's crazy how much the aesthetic and design of like going into that ship with the bones and oh, stuff. It's how like that's been used, and you see like this setting, like that. That's that... probably like one of the first movies, video games, anything that used um, biological 100% and like you can see how this like this this uh, setting and area like really owes itself to that alien kind of like it's just the template of like a creepy inside wall with like bones and all this shit oh yeah 100% ah. one hit on those guys well, it's a super shotgun. Yeah, it's a I tell a lot. Yeah, and it's also the hardest setting. Did I see? Um, it Did I, see? Oh, I thought it was the, the big old demon. And you compare this one to. Um, uh, oh, hello. You compare this to, to like the all the other versions we saw. Like this is such good quality. Oh God! Yes. So it's the other ones were some of them were in Windows, you, like uh, shrunken Windows. It didn't really come across like that because they blew them up um, to get f higher frame rates. You, think, oh, God, what? <laughs> you put it in a small window. Well, you should have optimized it more rather than doing that. But Jaguar was a. Uh, in the full screen which was which was good it's cool too that as you get closer you can see that like it doesn't scale up so like when you get close to an object it just kind of <laughs> ah! you, you can start to really oh, see no. the yeah yeah it just in increases the pixels oh what's happening 
light turned off up there. Here, you light. Oh, sure. Oh, look at that. Our big light just turned off. Because we're invincible, we're able to like run around. Oh my god, that's not good. That's not, that sound. I, I think you're you're right I'm with that. Plug that thing that I can cook food on, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna swap it out. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. Please stand by. Don't worry. It's a cable. Oh. Hundred percent kill this time? Fuck yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. We're in Atari place. after dark mode is what Chad yeah, is saying. A little bit darker. Not too bad. Okay. I've entered into hell. Oh, oh these the flaming skulls. Also, Castlevania, right? Like, oh, is it yes. real? Like, this whole... That's true. Uh, no, Castlevania came out. That's what I mean, is, like, yes. did this owes something to Castlevania yeah. and that kind of era of... Why are those so hot? Oh, my God. I almost burnt myself on the power supply. Something's, something's going I think on. It, I think I heard of... Before, before the light went out. Hopefully it's not the light. Oh, I know I can do it. Play map eight of episode two or three. Episode two, map eight. Okay, we will do that. Cool. Pass, pal, pass, pass. How so do we more. do that? What are the what are the cheat codes again for that? I think I have them down here. Um, if the uh, mods can type it in there. Oh, there it is. We got it. Just exit to menu is what they're saying. Yeah. To the level select. So we'll go to the level select. And then hold one and three. Then pick episode two. Episode two. There we go. Oh, damn it. This D-pad. What? What's weird is that it doesn't seem to... So I'm going to notice two with the D-pad, plus one and three together. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. It just like the D-pad moves me up and then it, <laughs> and it resets. There, there we, we go. go. Tower of Babel. Oh my god. Yes. Good. Yes, dude. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh. Look at that. So good. Oh, hello. <laughs> Maybe I should change to... The shotgun. It's the only way, man, when you find yourself in the Tower of Babel. Oh. I've got this. Don't need them. Oh, hello. Oh, 
this would be the end guy. That's why they want me to show it off. Hello, Cacodemons. Ah! Man, floating flaming skulls. They're so the best. Sad. They are the badass. Just all the imagery. Like, look at the imagery on the walls there. All the satanic. So like, good. Oh. I wonder if people were. In the background, too, out. like, look at that friggin' mountain. Oh, yeah. Just everything, this blood red skies. <laughs> people said easy as possible. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, with the weapons I have, uh, it does make. Uh, Change from boomstick. Or to. Uh, that's his classic. This is some classic. Yeah, especially on this difficulty, right? Pistol only. Pistol only. Okay, how do I uh, trigger the boss? Or is he just have to go find him? Let's keep exploring. I think we'll get there eventually. The edge. Oh, where is it? Man, oh. man. Anybody in here? Refills. Oh, hello. And a, and a weapon. Would be a really big deal if we didn't have them all. And <laughs> it we would. Were and we were be cheaters. Very helpful if we weren't cheaters. Oh, oh! I think I saw somebody just around the corner. Should Wait I peek? for it. Should I peek around the corner? Yeah. Oh, dead. maybe I didn't. It was the mountains. <laughs> it was the mountains. Where is it? Where's the bad guys? Where's the big bad guy? Am I missing something? Do I have to push a trigger? It's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long since I played this. Here's something. I can hear him, yeah. Oh, there's a some stray guys. Hello. Yeah, I can hear him, but I swear I've been around the whole thing. Is he behind you? <laughs> He's been following me the whole time. I've just been running away. Yeah, let's turn around. That's a good tactic, actually. See, we can find this guy. He's been slowly tailing me. Oh, see? See? There he is. I knew I saw something at some point. Hello. Oh, this guy. Rockets. Oh. oh. Dodging your rockets, man. Dodging your rockets. Look at this design of this character. It's so cool. Let's go right up to him, because we're, we're super cool. Doesn't push me back. Oh, it's <laughs> push me back. It's so awesome. Die, die, die. Okay, let's use rockets against him too. No! There's no rockets. There it is. Oh yeah. Rocket v rocket. Yeah. On this setting too, this is a hard boss. Oh god. I'm on the hardest setting. But we're, we're dirty cheaters. So. Yeah, it's so oh, it's someone just, brought up a good point. Like, just where does eating my rockets? <laughs> like, where does this dude store all of his rockets? Like, where does this guy get all of his rockets <laughs> from? Infinite bag of holes. So, where's our guy? Like, how's he carrying like <laughs> nine, five hundred, nine two-handed rare weapons? <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I just got 500 <laughs> rockets in my bag. <laughs> no big deal. NBD. He teleported into his arms. It's the only, it's the only way. He is mush. You've done it. Not Cyber Demon Lord. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that rule of the long Demi lost Demios moon base. It's been slain. Well, how long did he rule it for? Because we just opened these teleporters couple, recently. A couple days. A couple he's days. Been, yeah. He's been... But dude, demons... Like auto-ruling. Like, he was king... Crown king immediately. Living in the nine hells, man. <laughs> just getting tortured. Excellent. That is super awesome. Hopefully that gave you a, a taste. I mean, it didn't crash at all. Worked That's perfectly. Right. Good job, team. Now, not only did they send me this... They sent me one more 
thing. One more. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's so, get in there. I have to play the, the intro one more time here. Let's reset this. At least the light didn't break. That's the expensive part. Yeah. Okay. One more thing. Don't do it yet. Because we're going to play this. Exclusive world premiere of what? Let's find out. Let's find out. What could it be? Loading ROM. It's loading ROM. That's what it, it it's is. a great. It's a great game. I love playing loading ROM. What it does is it just, <laughs> it, just it gets it to like ninety percent, and then it actually doesn't load anything. And it goes down. Yeah. And you just wait, and you're like, wait. And after an hour, ninety one. Like no, <laughs> no. it's Twitch Dynamite. Is what it is. <laughs> That's right. We wait for it to load until... Very THX. I kind of was going for that when I made that intro. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, the door's half closed. Hot date Wolf today. Wolfenstein. Let's see. Oh, we're almost there. 99%. Then we decompress. Gray screen. <laughs> ZPH. ZPH. What is it going to say? Doom operating system 6.4, allocating cry screens, low Jaguar defaults, upgrading, knit zone malloc demon, insufficient, init wad files, init j wad files, slayer edition, macOS info, nothing to see here, init doom refresh daemon, optimization, be gone, heretic, tom and blitter, d pad, sporadic daemon, welsh warrior daemon, sierra no jamie daemon, neo og, saturn daemon, startup music, sound blaster isn't responding, said jerry equals a220 i5d1, I hated doing that. No hell and is detected. Prepare to Prepare slay. To fucking slay. This is like so that if you release it, <laughs> they'll right. know where it came from. That's it's it, actually a watermark. Is yeah, what it is. It's cool, but also eh. <laughs> Doom oh. Two, not just Doom One. You get Doom Two. It's two for one deal. It's a two for one deal. Okay, jump into. Look at that screen. So good. Let's go to Slayer options. Yeah. Okay. Not too. Rough. Slayer options, options. Oh. Um. Oh, those are all fine. Oh, let's do the the HUD type. Let's switch to the mini one just to show that off now because we haven't showed that off. Cool. Let's try that out. Cheats. I don't want to do any no, cheats. No, just go for it. Area one entryway, loading. Okay, we have Doom Two. Um, Sporadic said the first 13 maps on this should work, um, but they haven't been tested much. <laughs> That's all good, man. But the first uh, Little... few maps look good. We had no idea. Hey, Psst. stop it. Don't do that. Leave his jacket alone. <laughs> what are you doing? First. The HUD is cool, but it's just, it's not as... It's minimal. Well, the thing is, is that it's like, it's not Doom, you know? <laughs> That's right. It doesn't have that feeling. Doom 2, also known as Doom 2 Hell on Earth, is a first-person shooter game by id Software, ID. Uh, it was released for MS-DOS in 1994 and Macintosh in 95. Unlike the original Doom, which was initially only available to shoot through shareware and mail order, Doom 2 was sold in stores. Compared to its predecessor, Doom 2 features larger levels, new enemies, a new super shotgun weapon, which we did have turned on, uh, a new power-up, master levels for Doom 2, an expansion pack with 21 new levels was released December 26, 1995. <laughs> Still no ultimate Doom, though. Pfft, bunch of amateurs. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, it's see, I it's not the... ID soft, it's id, like Lisa demonstrated in that early Simpsons episode. That's what I thought, because it is a word, id software. Yeah, it's like a Freudian term. Actually. Yeah. So we've got the uh, body horror again on the walls. Oh, cool. I'm sure there's New more world to record. 
New World Record on Slayer Edition. Oh, nice. You got it. One minute 39. Am I, am I able to go back and get my HUD back? How um, I... Don't think so. Maybe. I think there was some information. Let's see. I just miss seeing my guy, so. rather. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, like the face isn't true. there, and like. That's true. I don't know if we can. Uh, no music. No. This is a very, very early version. This is like barely passed to me. It was like just an added on bonus thing that was passed on. So, super, super early. Right now, they're, I'm sure they're concentrating on um, Doom 1 to get that finished and out the door. This is just like bonus round, dude. Yeah, super bonus round. Yeah, the, the, the face is really helpful. Like, it's just a quick indicator of how you're doing. Also, just to, it's just the kind of like the immersion, right? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, I a wanted, I need it. Oh, Gotta gosh. get in there. Oh, you need the, the red key first. Ooh. It's been, it's been better. <laughs> it's been better. I've, I've felt better. <laughs> oh, there's a health pack if you can get to that one. Yeah, this is where I started, though. Oh, I don't think I get... Do I get hurt when I run on this thing? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, I can get some health. Yeah. Okay, that's helpful. Jump to mission four. Okay. Let's do what the dev says. Okay, cool. so the star... Here, I'll give you the... And then we go to the level screen and plus one and three. Hi, Cap. Yeah, and let's get the like, uh, let's get the HUD back. Oh, that too. Yeah. Is it cheats? No. No, it's just options. Which one? PC. Let's do PC. Yeah. Yeah, it's just classic. Okay. Uh, it, uh, put weapons on then. Oh, mission area four. I'm guessing. Let's do it. Yeah. Put weapons on. Put all the weapons on. Okay. Yeah, why not? Weapons. Fully loaded. Let's do it. God mode? No. no. We've got all the weapons. We don't need God mode. Not if we die, like, it just kind of sucks when there's no stakes. It's like, yeah. It's like, are we even playing a game, you know? <laughs> just. As there's another weapon. Oh, I see. Okay, so we've got the gun. We've got the shotgun. Ooh, which looks different in this one. Oh, yeah. And it's like a double Because it's the super shotgun. We've got the rocket. We've got the oops, laser. I've noticed our D-pad almost doesn't actually display all the guns. Where? How do you um, get that extra gun? Oh, there it is. How did I get that? It's a oh. T to cycle. BFG. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Go to Very sleep. Nice. Very slow. That's to charge up your laser. But that's oh. like a boss weapon, right? It like destroyed that guy over there. It's like kill everything on. It's got some screen. crazy shrapnel. Is what it's got. Oh, huge shrapnel! It's like the whole room. Yeah, it's and like you're protected it's actually, from it. It's interesting on this HUD. It's easier for me to get a sense of how health and armor is, just because I'm so used to the like. Shock. I'm so used to the classic. Yes. Yeah, it's so it's so recognizable with the classic HUD. Oh, I have everything, so. Cheater McCheater. I can't even get that because I already have it. Oh, I can get it. Okay. Oh my god. I can die. Might be someone behind you, potentially. I think, I think there was. So I dropped into a pit. Oh, they're up there. Oh, Super even. Super shotgun. Look at the spread on this, man. I think I got him. Yeah, I think I got him. You chain gun guys. Nice. Chain gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can understand how, like, you know suburban middle-aged <laughs> people might look at their kids doing this being like, like wait whoa. what are we doing and what is this and at the time this was like really graphic like super super graphic like now it's like oh, what is, what you is. know what's also what people don't understand too is that like 
as soon as you like ban a game, <laughs> it makes it very oh, desirable. Everyone wants it to be like, what is this I like? Down there. I think you. I think you can go because you got the key card before, right? Um, so I think you have to go back and then. Oh, that go was through, just to right? trigger it. Okay. Yeah, I just remember as like a kid, my parents had like a shelf of like VHS tapes that were like we were allowed to watch, and then there was this other shelf of like don't touch the sh that shelf. Right? And sometimes they would transition, right? You'd be you'd be like allowed to like to like watch one from the forbidden shelf, <laughs> and, the, and and oh, but but those became the most important supervision? things, right? You'd look at these and be like, oh, it's the same thing. Like as soon as you ban like a Doom game, it's like oh. I want the, I want this game more than anything yeah exactly it calls attention to it so you can go double barrel or single barrel oh. that nice okay i see um actually it wasn't it wasn't those kind of videos um they were saying to put that kind of be it was just movies like terminator or like pulp fiction things like that where it was like my parents would just for whatever reason like decide you know road warrior and like you know, Mad Max, but I just look at those oh. tapes and be like, what? what is it in these movies that, like, when I turn whatever age? How did I get the BFG? I have no idea. Is what it T to it? cycle? T? That's what he <laughs> There's said. No There's no, no T. Oh, oh, the Y. Oh. Uh, y and Z. Okay. Oh, no. Those just are mapped. Those are just mapped. T? Nine? Nine? Uh... No, nine is not getting there. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to the zero. Uh, zero's map. So that's not it. Somehow I got there. I think it might be a combo of buttons potentially. I actually, think so yeah. Checks notes. Yeah. <laughs> you can figure it out, devs. Yeah, and it's interesting. Different um, uh, like countries have really different sensibilities of what is band worthy, what isn't. What are the kind of reasons why like a movie or like something sh shouldn't be like distributed? Yes. Which is fascinating to think of like the difference. It's also interesting to think like in America, right? Violence, no problem. All day but, long. Like, but nudity, what? No, no, we can't no. have this, right? And then in Europe, it's actually the opposite. Like nudity, they're like, who cares? Yeah. But then violence is as no. regarded as. And obviously, I uh, and Europe, Nazism. As yeah, well. and obviously Europe. I shouldn't. It's a continent, right? Like there's some <laughs> number yeah. of different countries All with different of values. Europe. <laughs> um, but in general, I mean, a more you're sort of more of a European sensibility. Um, oh. Berserk mode. Oh, probably a bug from new, new added thing to double barrel. Oh, That's all okay. good. You know what we're going to do? We're, we're going to not worry about it and move forward right. because that was... We've got enough good weapons. We've got some... Gotta get out of here. Oh. Go do the house of you. Let me out of here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just like um, Britain banned Clockwork Orange. Oh, right? yeah. Actually, the UK is quite... Um, there's, they're... they're, they're sensitive to violence right? yeah and just there's a lot more banned materials in, in the uk which is fascinating mm -hmm. uh, i'm stuck there's always a way and lights are in my eyes <laughs> oh there's a door i feel like this might have been where you came from i think so too where am i okay Blame Canada. <laughs> That's right. Exit. Exit. Also, you think of like the internet now and how just like quaint something like this is in comparison to oh. like best gore. Like, oh. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Like the fact that there's things that exist on the there internet that are just like, you, sh you this know, this is absolutely nothing. What do they call it? Not safe for life tag. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> right, like here, here is like we're totally fine hanging out playing some Doom, you know. Very mild in comparison. So stuck. Oh, there's some new dudes. That's a good way to find where you haven't been, is to like um, look for enemies. 
oh yeah if they're if they're enemies it's in a way it's actually nice to not have the um the the corpses uh despawn yeah so that you can get a sense of like where you've like gone that does help quite a bit oh I think that pushed me up a little bit and also when you're playing um there we go I don't up, up, an elevator. Just an empty room where I probably got something before. Yeah, I feel like... Excellent. Okay. Didn't ban Clockwork Orange. Got withdrawn by Kubrick until after its death. Oh, okay, yes, I got that mixed up. It's probably a common thing that people say. Trimap I'm... 7 has two new baddies to see. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Little... And after that... We have yet one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. Uh, map seven. Oh, stop it. It's dead simple. Yes. I love that stuff. Right away. Asmodeus. Oh my god. Oh, I think I don't want to go out there just yet. Uh, I you think might want to switch some... to a different gun. I think I need to collect some items in here uh, and run real fast. Uh, some invincibility, some weapons. Actually, I have a lot of weapons. I'm still on cheap one, right? That's right. You just, but like, I can be killed. You just spawned in with them. I think I want to switch to the rocket. Oh, I'm in invisible. Nice. Oh, they can't see me. Somebody can see me. Oh my god, I need help. Badly. Is it worth going right? Oh, I'm in berserk mode. Oh, he's got like a... Does this hurt him a lot when I'm in Berserk mode? Your unarmed attack, monk mode? Oh, I got him! I think. I really need health. Oh man, I've been, I've been continuing to play Baldur's Gate. Really yeah? Are you, it even uh, further, man. So it's such a great game. I see ended oh up um, replaying on Tactician and redoing Act 1 with different like, oh. classes just to try it out. So you have two games going, yeah. or you're fully dedicated to one? I've got two games going, okay. but just with two fundamentally different parties. Really, oh, God. Really fun. Oh my I gotta, I gotta stay on track though, and not talk about all this. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it. It's my little BG ah, update. There we go. Right, got some, got some Let's get this, get this guy some rockets. Yeah, you got it. some rockets. Ah. Yeah, strafe is like you need strafe. Oh my God, I have 20 dollars. Rockets, I need health. Oh my God. You good? You fine? If you die, whatever. It's all That's good. true. Okay. Reload. I think too, like with this stuff too, like you spend quite a quite a bit of time like trying to find your optimum gun. I might have just blasted, you know. There we go. It's for spider dude. And yes. excellent. Such so a good game, awesome. Dude. Okay, let's do the last. One more thing. And one more thing. Now this is preliminary. Oh, we'll have to. No. For you, okay. I'm like, for was me. that Dev said that? Okay, so this one is labeled "If you have time." We we have a bit of time. Oh, we got some time, dude. We have a bit we of time. Got time. Let's load this, load this up. Here we go. Let's see what is it? Good night, thrust. Hello to Germany. You have to watch it a little bit after. Well, you can wait ten seconds, yeah. <laughs> then you'll <laughs> see. There's, there's, it's very, very preliminary. Very preliminary. Jaguar. Good knock, Thomas. Is it the new iPhone? Yes, it's the new iPhone on the Jaguar. <laughs> you could probably do something like that. Put a little iPhone interface. Oh, definitely. Uh, hook it up to cellular through Wi-Fi. You're good to It'll go. It'll work. It'll work, 100%. Do some encoding, decoding. Okay, press the button. This doesn't give anything away. Heretic! The one I was talking about with the spell casting! Oh man. This is very preliminary, as you can see. Let's do Trevor McFur. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Yep, just go for it. Oh, so crazy. This Don't change anything, just start it. Oh, too late. So there's there's literally nothing to do. You're just running around looking at stuff. 
you get uh, you got some maps. The music is obviously doomed, but you've got potions. You've got health potions. You've got some some flying enemies, little demons. You got barrels. You've got wood. You've got stone. Does my like can do I have any attacks you got I can do? You got no. Oh, okay. This is true pacifist run. <laughs> That's right. You can say hi to the demons. Go right up to the demons. Say hi. Hello, nice. Mr. Demon. How are you? Mr. Mephit? <laughs> How's it going? Eye candy, yes. Just eye candy. Checking out some imps. Oh, you got some water. You got a nice torch. Little... Nice, nice. So, little... walk way out to the water, to the lake. A little Mephit just hanging out. Oh, yeah, the little stars are your, um, I think, your bullets or your, your, your ma mana, maybe. Those little stars, yeah. So, you can collect things, you just can't do anything. It were a mana build. I loved Heretic and Hexen because it just gave it a, a little twist. Well, this is now Doom. into the gothic horror, yes. right? Sort of like gothic. That's kind right. of like. Oh, go is... through the door upstairs on the right. Upstairs on the right? Hold on, hold on. Find the door first. Oh, that's a door. Is that where we started, though? No, not opening. It's not the door. I think that's where you started. I think I can probably just like blast through here, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's the door at the end there. Where the gates are the door. We got our little method upstairs. Nice. Oh, back near water. Okay, so it is around the water here. Outside ring. This is, I'm following the directions of this, this oh, field. Blocking the path. It's a blockade! Oh, there's, that looks like a door. There we go. Nope. Oh, does it go up? Maybe it goes back up. Stand on it. I'm not gonna know spot. He said. Yeah. Okay. Keep, keep on looking. Right there, left. Maybe press something inside while you're there. No main entrance door should open. Oh, oh sick! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, dude. Thanks that makes sense. I would have just kind of run around. Main entrance back in the original. That's my assumption. Uh, yeah, I could be. I could be it. wrong, but it's not this thing now. Oh, try it. Open? No. no, no, no. Main entrance. Oh. In the corner, I think I saw something. No, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's the, that is the one. Okay. There, so try and open that up. Other buttons? A, B, C? No? No, nothing. Probably user error. <laughs> it, like it's flashing you don't have a key. So did we miss the key? I didn't. I don't remember seeing a key. Oh, hold, pound, press pause, release pause. No, 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 no not those, not those. Oops. Hold, pound, press pause, release pause. There you go. Oh. Now we have all the keys. I got there all the keys. Hell go. yeah! Thanks, dude. Thank you so much. Oh my God! Oh, look at this guy. Is that the guy, is he a golem? Looks like a golem. It's yeah, little, made of clay. It's a little okay. clay golem. Yep. Very nice. Got ourselves a clay a clay golem. Oh, another one. Is that how it's pronounced? Golem? No. That's how I... <laughs> ah, I, there we go. I, just like to, I just like to fuck with people <laughs> and pronouncing things wrong. Open. It drives people crazy. Dadgers. <laughs> Alchemy. <laughs> Alchemy. <laughs> Knives. Oh, is that from you? Told me about some guy who does that on stream. Uh, yeah, you borrowed man. that tactic. It's the best, but I'll do it in life now. It's just the meme. <laughs> People are like questioning themselves, questioning you. Well, if you say it so confidently. Oh yeah. And also, if you just say things weird, it's sticking people's mind. <laughs> <laughs> like a like Great a like design. a like a clay jolum. Clay jolum. There they are, running around. This playing, is beautiful. This playing is some hattery. I'm so excited that that you guys are. Um, porting Heretic. 
I mean, I'm sure it's well into the distance, well into oh, the future this when is this cool is going to happen. explore. Yeah. Like some Adderay 2600. <laughs> Adderay. That's what I'll say from now on. Now We're on. playing some Adderay 2600. Some... <laughs> 2600 Adderays. <laughs> or, uh, some, somebody got on me once. It's like, oh, it's pronounced Jaguar. It's like, I know, in it's, some countries, yes. It's definitely Jaguar, but it's <laughs> I want to call it Jaguar. That's better. <laughs> oh, um, at um, PRGE, um, David um, from Atari, David Page. Oh, yeah. You, did you was, get to see him? Yeah, was talking about, um, because ZPH the game is now on the VCS. Is it? Oh, yes. that's so good. Um, I haven't done it on the show yet because I've been just catching up. It's been crazy. Um, but he pronounced it um, ZPH. Which makes and I, sense. And I was bugging him. And I was like, actually, it's pronounced ZPH. It's, it's a Canadian game. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> we're, we're, we're from Canada. GIF or GIF? It's a GIF. Was it as in graphic? Gira as in giraffe. Uh, yes, it does stand for graphic interchange format. Um, but the uh, person who made that, made GIFs, pronounced it as GIF. It's actually a jife. Jife. Knife. Uh, <laughs> jife. <laughs> Yeah, he just, <laughs> there's a third option. Uh, they it's, pronounces it GIF, and who else to do the pro correct pronunciation? You don't tell somebody their names. Or, you're pronouncing your name wrong. Ar Arilin? Arilin? <laughs> it's like, no, the person who, the, the parents who named him, named him Arilin. It's like, it's like Jams over here. Jams. Jamez. <laughs> it's like Jamez. Yep. Just, with, with this clay Totally dome. wrong. It's not even the Spanish pronunciation of Jamez. It's Jamez. Got ourselves a, a clay dome. The world owns it now. It is ours. We tell you what it's to, how it's you pronounced. How to pronounce. Yeah, it's always G GIF. Screw him. Or GIF. GIF. Or jive. GIF. Or jive. <laughs> <laughs> what awesome. What no one would this, call it. <laughs> this is great. Um, so you got a three fur today. This is crazy. Didn't, didn't expect. Yeah. So it's a good start. I mean, they've got the engine going. They've got the textures going. And it's they've good got some that enemies these going. Um, clay jollums have this like <laughs> have this like conveyor belt that they can run on. Do you know what they're, I mean? They're, they're exercising. They 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 got their peloton. They're on peloton I mean, look how team. Built they are. Oh, yeah, God. they are on it every day. This is the they part of the Peloton running. tribe. <laughs> it's the Prometheus. That's right. It looks a lot like Prometheus. The sky is incorrect, but uh, incorrect, but fixed. fixed oh, later. I love this little demon here. This yeah, that's method. the best. Yeah. So. Also, the nice thing about mispronouncing things as a meme is when you actually mispronounce things, people then think you're just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done. Oh. Good Thank stuff. you so much to the devs. Uh, let me just list them once again because they are awesome. Welsh Warrior, uh, Sporadic, Cyrano J, Saturn, Neo RG. Thank you so much. The amount of work you've put into this Such over cool. the past number of years, at least four years, um, has really paid off. Um, you've done an absolutely stunning job of it. Hope I've done it justice to show yeah. what everything is about. And um, yeah, very impressive work with the, the devs. Nostalgic. Yeah, I definitely almost felt a little self-conscious because I'm like, fuck, there's people who know Doom way better than me <laughs> right now. And they're like yelling and at I'm us. Like, I'm like, oh. So hopefully it wasn't too painful watching us kind of like fumble around in we're, Doom. Yeah, I mean, we're mostly showing it. Not like we're not speed running. We're not playing expertly. We're not getting 100% secrets on every Nor could level. we ever get there because it's like the people who do that, <laughs> yeah, it's, no. it's huge. Yeah, man. Impossible. And also thanks for the premiere. It's so cool to see this. I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. Um, I had I had zero expectations. I have to say is blown away. Like I just really... Yeah. And I think this catapults it to probably the best port on like uh, of that era on the Jaguar and, or uh, and 32. All, all of the like flexible options that you oh, give is yes. I think like so key because especially everyone has a different like configuration that they yep. want, especially with a classic game like this. And you're not gonna like appease everyone. So you may as well just let the player have all the choices. Throw them all out there. You can create your sort of configuration <laughs> of Doom and like, it, and also like even the, even though I know you, were, you guys are clearly working on it, like everything was great. Like, it didn't crash. 
didn't crash. It was great. <laughs> that so, feels like and also cool to have the sort of episodic styles and then the and yes. the, and it really does feel like kind of like Goldeneye style where it's like at the end you get your like breakdown. Yeah, and, it's it's awesome. And and they've corrected all the missteps of the original Jaguar release of Doom and brought it a lot closer to the PC version so that people don't have to miss the music. They don't have to miss the the HUD of the PC version. They don't have to miss those <laughs> missing monsters. No golden eye feels like Doom. There we go. Correct. We know how to make it crash. Yeah, I did avoid one thing that they know guarantees crash it. Um, we have never played the official Jaguar version before because it's not homebrew. Um, but later on this year, we're going to be celebrating Jaguar's 30th anniversary classic game and countdown by playing every single classic Jaguar game. So we will Tune be in. playing the old Doom version and, and torturing ourselves. So that'll be starting uh, November 23rd, which is the exact 30th anniversary day of the release of Jaguar in North America. Uh, and we're going to span it over three days. So I'll get well versed in all things jaguar so it's gonna be a jaguar <laughs> yeah and also coming up uh probably in november as well we're gonna have a four player day special it's gonna be me it's gonna be tanya darcy erlen we're all gonna be here i got four two more light guns perfect from uh prg so we're gonna have a four light gun uh game of ducks away for the 7800 Plus, we're going to be playing... I'll blast some ducks. I'll all, go for it. Yeah, all the four-player games. Well, not all of them, but a lot of four-player games on Yeah, you can't day. say all, because of no. course can be... Uh, homebrew four-player games. A i gotta, I got to do that. A plethora of them. Um, but coming up really shortly on uh, Halloween, exactly on Halloween, uh, October 31st, we're going to be having a Halloween homebrew special. We've got our costumes on order. Half of them are here. Half of it's not. We're building it up. Uh, I think I think you'll like nice you'll like it i think people will like our costumes if nice. we can pull them off uh we're going to be playing exclusive work and progress update of tober's nightmare uh for the 2600 exclusive world premiere of geist as in poltergeist for the 2600 hobgoblin fright zone maybe one more as well soon we're gonna have to pl we're gonna be playing all the abbuc 2023 contest entries uh towards the end of this month maybe spilling it over next month as well uh, what other things? We're going to be doing Atari Age Day 2023. All the games that I picked up at PRGE just before they go on sale in the Atari Age store. We're going to be doing the unboxing of everyone and talking to every single dev. Every single dev we're going to have live on the show or written if they can't make it. But uh, past years, we, this is like the fourth time we've done it. It's super fun get to talk to the devs as we unbox it they can give a little bit of insight into the releases super fun um that'll be like on a saturday it'll be one day we're going to be doing 21 releases so talking to 21 devs boom 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 lots of fun that one's uh, not gonna it's definitely gonna be like land perfectly in the estimated time slot it's not gonna run late never there's no way that you'll you'll get that thing wrapped we're, up we're and getting uh, better <laughs> we're getting better as time goes on but uh yeah it uh, usually runs a bit but the thing is i i have to keep on schedule pretty well because they're expecting a certain time like i'll be going mm -hmm. through the time zones right i'll be doing like europeans first so before they go to bed and then I'll be transitioning through North America, like east to west, as people start going to bed. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's going to be like 21 to 10 hour, about a 10 hour stream, but a half an hour yeah. or less, 20 minutes for each one. And Cyrano Reboot will be last because he's in Australia. So yeah, it would be working our way through the world, <laughs> through the time zones. It'll be, it'll be fun. Will Slayer Edition be able to network? That's a good question. Um, the networking is an option in there. I think they said something earlier about it, but I didn't catch it. So if the devs want to type something, yes, no, half working, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know if they've got it working just yet. Um, yeah, so th there's lots of other things coming up as well. Oh, we're going to be doing also uh a champ games edition of that kind of thing and we'll be playing elevator agent and turbo arcade which i also picked up from prg from uh, john champo and all the other and nathan strum the champ oh. 
Champ Games team, the dynamic duo. That's right. Um, so, yes. Oh, yes, possibly with two plus, two plus players. There you go. Um, so get your, uh, what are they called? Jag links? Jag links? I think. I wish I could help you. <laughs> Come I on. I wish I, wish I knew. Don't you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, you can get modern uh, versions of them as well that plug into um, the back of your Jag and you can network locally and have multiple Jags. I'm not rich enough to have multiple Jaguars, so I don't think we'll be able to test that out. Currently testing get four player. That's that a Gagwar, awesome. actually. What? I believe it's a Gagwar. Ga gag you are. Gag you are. <laughs> Gag you are. That's the pronunciation. It's a gag you are. <laughs> it's hard to get multiple gag you are. Like gifs, right? Yeah. Gifs and gag you are's. Like gifs. <laughs> gifs and gag you are's. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so we got lots of things coming up on Zero Page Homebrew. A lot of people are tuning in for the first time just to come here. This is what we do. We play new games for classic consoles. And the uh, community is massive. The Jaguar community is is awesome and super talented. And we're playing those games all the time. So if you're just inter interested in Jaguar, we do cycle through all the different colors. Oh, it's actually Jaguar. Jaguar. Yes. Yag J's, J's are pronounced. Uh, or Haguar. Haguar. In Spanish. Haguar, right. I think. Close enough. So it, it will be Jaguar from now on. We'll then test to see impact on gameplay, see what it can handle, yeah, with the two plus players. So we had a lot of fun. Thank you for hanging out with us uh, for this world premiere of uh, <laughs> Doom Slayer Edition. Uh, it was so much fun to have all the uh, devs in the channel. So definitely uh, check out the thread in the Atari Age forum for this game. Uh, let me uh, link that right now for you so that uh, you can keep up to date. Uh, Atari Age, Doom Slayer Edition. There we go. Just have to shorten that a bit so you're not on page 19. Boom. So if you want to keep up to date on that, uh, when it's going to be released, updates that they're doing. Um, there's also side-by-side -side screenshots of the original Jaguar and the new, so you can really compare them side by side. Um, so if you want to be alerted to shows when we're streaming them, we usually stream Tuesdays and Fridays. This is a Friday guy. And also Darcy's on Friday and Tanya's are on, Tanya's on, one Tanya, is on Tuesdays. Multiple Tuesdays, one Tanya. It's actually clones. Uh, yeah, I I I'm working on that. Yeah. I'm she's, working she on has that. a busy schedule, so she tries to be in two The original Tanya works. will stay home and send the clone to work. That's she would the rather play. be home with the cats and That's playing video play, games. That's the man. That's the that way to is. do it. Then the clone kind of gets upset, catches on. Then there's a clone revolt. And then you got to deal with clones. you got to keep making them, putting them down, making another one. Then they start degrading because this is what we have the do. DNA starts degrading and, and it just gets worse and worse. That's what we got to do to provide a quality stream <laughs> on a consistent basis. That's right. For, keep making clones of, of Erlen and myself and Darcy and Tanya. Epic world premiere. Thank you so Thanks, much. guys. We, so much fun to like tune in. And we're like, here to do you justice. That's what the show is about, is presenting these amazing games in the best way possible, get people excited about them, and to show off your super hard work. Thank you, honestly. We wouldn't yeah. be here without you. Really appreciate like, all yeah, the work we you wouldn't. guys do. Like, literally wouldn't be here. We'd have nothing to play. Yeah. And we love playing new games. So, thank you, Saturn RVG, for being a dev of this game. Metal Lunar 7, Dan AVC, Sporadic for being a dev. King Garaz, thanks for tuning in. New names, lots of new names. Nostalgic. It's Kev. Hi, Kev. Pseudographics. W Warrior. Thank you for being a dev. Uh, Dan AVC. Huge ass. Uh, Cyrano. Hi, dev. Uh, Metal Lunar 7. Sporadic Soft. Thank you, dev. Um, Mike Latow. Nice seeing you at PRGE. Uh, Cubanismo. Um, who else? Scrolling up. Smitty B. Um, Thrust. Um, who else? JFD6278. The cryptic. J uh, Chad TI99 Beefman. Zombie Phoenix. And that's the top of 
the people. And uh, so thank you for tuning in. Thanks and so much, we guys. We'll be back here on Tuesday. So have a great weekend. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.